if um, if that look or conversation occurred uh, this year or today, I would anticipate that they would either put the city on a negative credit watch or potentially even downgrade the, the rating. And so that's the risk of carrying a deficit fund balance. And at this point, it's really at the discretion of Standard & Poor's as to when to do, we call that a surveillance call, meaning that you're not actually issuing bonds, but they have the right to come and relook at the city's financial condition. Um, we, we don't know when they'll do that. It's really at their discretion and their, they just follow some regulations that they follow under federal law uh, as to how frequently they do that. And so I'm um, not too sure what's going to happen this year or next year, but uh, that's always their right to come back and change the rating based on updated financial figures. Any other questions for Mr. Quiroga or Mr. Kuhn? Okay, uh, just a, a little word. How are we doing? Um, will we be getting financials for, for this year before budget starts uh, up to date of where we stand on our budget? Yes, according to um, Charter, we have to do financial reports at the second meeting, and Ms. Moreno is preparing those right now to see where we are currently. As you know, these numbers are from last year. The audit was for last year, and we'll be doing some numbers together as we're putting together and anticipating a budget amendments, which we don't anticipate having in our next budget year. But yes, she's preparing those, and we should be able to report to those at the last meeting of this month. Not this week, but the last meeting of the month. I believe that's the 26th? Mm -hmm. The 26th. So we're going to get a new one of these books? No. No, sir. That is my proposed budget. I thought what the mayor was asking for current was budget. current budget, where we are, where to we date. stand, where to we date. stand to date. That, that is a proposed budget for, this, for next year, but right. I thought you were asking for the current budget. No, the current one to see so that we, we're not doing the same thing that, went, that happened last year because we, were we weren't really informed of how much was over budget last year yes. in, the, in this. In the well, one of those reasons was because the, the audit came in so late, but the audit came in now. I prepared my budget based on those numbers and made them my recommendation that you see in the manager's memo. Uh, also, uh, we're, we've met in our continuing meeting with staff, so we'll have some goals and objectives that we're going to have for each department that we'll be bringing back to you when we come. And so at the next meeting, we'll have let you know where we are to date uh, in comparison to this budget. When you're talking the next meeting, your next, our next workshop? No, ma'am, your next city council meeting okay. uh, on that Thursday. This Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Okay. Not this Thursday, but the following Thursday, which I believe is the 26th. Okay. Any other questions? I think I think we as a council have some homework to go over and look up look over a bunch of things before our next budget workshop, which is scheduled for the which is scheduled 17th. for uh, the July seventeenth, and we'll be talking about parks and and just not the park that the parks the department parks uh, that park will be talked about under grants because that's more of a grant streets services that's our vehicles. Uh, that budget will be happening on the 17th. And we'll have uh, some staff members and representatives from of those departments to attend the meeting on the 17th. So it won't just be me, we'll have some staff as well. Okay. Can we have uh, on this $104,000 a breakdown of where all this was? Well, we've looked at that and what the auditor said is pervasive across all uh, well, you are, departments. You're, and so in my budget letter, I spoke to some of the issues of doing that. We've had conversations with him to pinpoint them, but it's like all across uh, over time, different things. And I can give you a generality of where the $104,000 went. Like there was 37, you know, where you moved money around basically, you know, can you kind of know where you took money from one place to pay the other? Because, you know, we did the budget last year, I thought when we, you know, it's locked in. You couldn't remove money from one streets and roads to use over here for something else. Yeah, know. we did budget amendments last year, but in this budget, what I'm proposing is for you all to adopt a zero-based budgeting, which means you can't move what you put in that line item and what they receive, okay, they can't get anymore. What you moved last year, you know, well, I guess. You mean in our current year? year? Yeah. 
Yes, that's what I'm reporting on at, on the 26th of what we have going on now. The audit talks about what happened last year, and those are those numbers. That 105 is not talking about the current budget that we're in now. It's speaking to the budget that we did last year. But I will give you up to date with where we are this year. Okay. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Well, that budget that you, you're that we're on the, the this one right that we're discussing, it's where we hired that consultant. The budget that we're in right now, in this fiscal year right now, we hired a consultant, which helped us get through a lot of the things that the auditor said so. Now, based on, remember, just like you pay your taxes, it's always one year behind, always one year behind. And so just like you pay your taxes, they audit you one year behind. And so at that last time, that long nine-month audit, um, they suggested that we have and take care of some of those issues. And that's what he talked about at the meeting that we had last week was that we addressed some of those issues, some of the recording issues, some of the problems we were having with ENCODE with hiring the consultant of course, hiring our, our bookkeeper and those kind of adjustments that we made in this budget year. And so what I'm going to be bringing you is where we are to date and what, you, what I presented to you last week was my proposal for next year. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Did we ever buy the equipment? this year that we had budgeted to buy this Some year. of the equipment we did purchase and out. What, we just bought one piece of equipment? I'll have to bring that. I don't want to yeah, say it was one I was one kind of two. wondering what money we had budgeted for equipment that we didn't buy. What happened to that money? Where was it moved to? Or what was it used for? Okay, I'll bring that to you at the next meeting. I couldn't do it right now. That's why I said we yeah. had the report at the next you, meeting, but I'll make sure we have that question. So I thought once we did a budget, it stayed, you know, at, at, I know when I run my business, if we have something that we're going to do. That, well, that governmental money. finance is a little bit different than business finance, but I'll make sure I make sure that we get those to answer those questions for you. Okay. Yes. I know that I've been I've been uh, very concerned about the audit that we had last year because there was a lot of items in there that we get that myself and a couple of councilmen. Uh, keep getting fingers pointed at, but there was a whole lot more to it than that. And so even though the Wilson County News reported it, um, I still have some questions on the audit that I'll be presenting to you by email. Or the current audit or the one that they did the year before? No, the current audit. Okay. The current Great. audit. So anyway, but okay. Any other quick? Oh, yes, Mr. Nissen. Um, yeah, so the attorney, when you said that our auditors did more school financing versus fund the county? And how much did you only find a one mistake? No, I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't. I don't know any idea what they. I'm just saying generally, outside auditors um, get uh, school district tax notes and city tax notes confused. I have no idea what their expertise was, but I know that your auditors um, wrote a management uh, concern to Ms. Turner and Ms. Moreno that questioned whether or not the city's two outstanding issues of tax notes were properly characterized as debt, and that's how you did your truth in taxation. So they had written up and said, we don't think it's debt, and they were wrong. And, and once I explained to them, here's the law, gave them the site, sent it to them, and walked them through each page of the ordinance where the city, in fact, uh, had agreed to pay an avalorm tax for both of those tax notes, they said they were wrong, and they and they confirmed that to Ms. Turner's Moreno, is my understanding, uh, and that they, that issue went away. Yes, and so in the current audit, they did not mention that as a material weakness for us. That's why it was removed from this current audit because it is it was classified in truth and taxation that it is appropriate to use it for INS. So they the they're going to make an amendment to this um, audit book to cover that. What they said was a, they, what they said was that it's no longer a fact they're finding, and it's in there. But for next year, they'll remember that, or are we going to get that in writing from them? Oh, I have it I don't writing. want her to get dinged. I have it in writing already. No, okay. that, that happened on 2016. So, and so they made and the then correction. And 2017, it's they not corrected, in and it's not on the findings. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Well, I'd like to thank Mr. Kuhn and Mr. Kidoga for being with us tonight. My pleasure. And uh, council, we this meeting, uh, this workshop, 
will now conclude at 644, and we will see you back.